Today we're going to be talking about how to make a rum wash. Specifically, we'll be looking at the Matthew Molasses Rum Distillers Recipe Kit as found on the Beerco website. Before we get into how to put it all together, let's start with a brief overview of what rum is. Rum is a distilled spirit made from a fermented and distilled molasses, raw cane sugar and or raw cane juice. These are all byproducts of the manufacturing process of refining sugar. Rum first appeared, unsurprisingly, around the first sugar plantations around the Caribbean in the 17th century. Workers discovered the molasses byproduct could be fermented into alcohol. The distillation of the alcohol concentrated the flavours and removed some of the impurities and byproducts, resulting in the first modern example of rum. Let's talk about what we're going to need for the Matthew rum fermentation and put it all together. You will need 14 kilos of Bundaberg molasses. Wait a second, if you just sat here, I'm editing the video and I realized after the fact that I made a pretty big mistake in this video. You probably see me talking about adding 14 kilos of molasses. I don't know what happened. I think I was sleep deprived or whatever. I didn't read the instructions right. You only need four kilos of molasses for one 25 litre batch. As you'll see in this video, I actually added all 14 kilos of the molasses, which is for about 20, well, it's like two and a half recipes worth. So long story short, I ended up having to decant, or I split the 30 litre fermenter that I had into two fermenters and added five litres of water each and then pitched some extra yeast that I had around the house um, and made a stronger version of this. <laughs> you know, it, mistakes happen. It's just about trying to fix the problems that arise when they arise and not freaking out and trying to still get through it. So if some of the um, footage looks a bit weird here, that's what happens. I made a mistake, but you know, this recipe is um, it's fine. You'll be fine. Follow along with the written instructions as linked below in the video and you'll be good. You won't make the same mistake I do. So uh, cheers, back to the video. A yeast. Now we're using the Still Spirits Rum Distillers Yeast, but there are a number of other products available if you want something slightly different uh, from uh, Lalamond and Fermentus. I'll put a link for those down below. Some clean water. A cleaned and sanitized fermenter, a cleaned and sanitized spoon or mixing paddle, an airlock, and these next ones are optional but recommended. Temperature controlled fermentation chamber, something like an ink bird or a fridge fermentation chamber. Bicarb soda to buffer against the pH dropping during fermentation. A yeast nutrient, pH strips or a pH meter. So start by bringing about eight liters of water, ideally treated for chlorine and chloramine, to about 70 to 77 degrees. Don't worry too much about the temperature. This is mainly just for dissolving the molasses. Put the clean water in your clean and sanitized fermenter and dissolve your molasses. Once thoroughly stirred and dissolved, add another 12 liters of water. You can rinse out the molasses tub with this water just to get a bit of extra molasses into your fermentation and then vigorously stir your wash to ensure that there's plenty of oxygen in your wash for the yeast. Your starting gravity should be around this much and your starting volume should be around this much. If you want to check the pH of the wash you should be aiming for a starting pH of between four and a half to five. Either use citric or phosphoric acid to lower the pH or use calcium carbonate or baking soda to increase it in order to give your yeast the best uh, start for fermentation. Once your wash is well aerated and at about 30 degrees, sprinkle the yeast on top of your wash and ferment anywhere from between 20 and 35 degrees Celsius. The cooler you ferment, the cleaner and slower the fermentation will be. If you want a faster turnaround time, and more importantly, a more flavorful rum, you should uh, ferment at the warmer end of the recommended range. Fermentation should complete in three to five days, depending on temperature. If your fermentation stalls, check that your temperature is still within the range, as well as the pH. 
If those two are still okay, but there's no sign of fermentation activity, you can try and add a little bit of yeast nutrients such as DAP or diammonium phosphate. Rather than relying on airlock activity, test the specific gravity. Remember, the only thing that bubbles in your airlock will tell you for certain is that there are bubbles in your airlock. It's not a true sign of active fermentation, and conversely, if there is no airlock activity, it doesn't mean that fermentation has stopped. Check your gravity. Once you have a stable gravity reading, probably below 10.05, ideally below 1.000 for two consecutive days, stir vigorously to degas the CO2 from solution and clarify using TurboClear, following the packet instructions. Once your molasses wash is clarified, you can rack it into your boiler and start your stripping run and spirit run.